Hey you guys, hey my family, y'all come along with me as I transform my kitchen into a Christmas winter wonderland or something like it. So as you guys saw in my previous video, I did a haul and you are now going to see me decorate my home with some of those things that were in the haul. I am taking up my previous springtime um, kitchen de decor, gloves, mittens. <laughs> <laughs> not one for words i guess but yeah i'm taking all of that stuff up and then i'm going to change it with the christmas plates and the christmas mittens and all of that stuff to make my my kitchen all christmasy you guys so i have to cut the tags off of course you guys and i also have to figure out what's the best placement for these items to make my kitchen look really cute or whatever because i've never i don't think i've decorated my kitchen before um with christmas decor i'm gonna start doing that more because it felt good dressing up my kitchen and just swapping it out each season um because i typically do not i just wash what i have out and then keep putting it up keep putting it up and i normally don't purchase like kitchen items but i'm learning that i like purchasing kitchen items to make my kitchen pretty so that's what i'm going to um, start doing but y'all see me trying to hang up the gloves i actually found so i rigged it i found um something in my drawer to hang it up with and that right there is the dryer mat that y'all saw in the other um video that's for like when i take my items out of the my plates and my dishes out of the dishwasher and they're still wet they can get on that mat and um it won't make my countertop wet or anything it came in handy i might get another one a regular one for just any other day not just christmas but yeah i really like that um, and as y'all can see, like I said, the mittens are hanging in the back. I actually use the, um, my measurement cup, um, holder that holds all the measurement cups together to hold that up on the stove, you guys. Um, so I really rigged some stuff up, but it really looks cute. Y'all gonna see at the end when I do the spread, but now I'm cutting off the pot holder, um, tags as you guys can see. And I'm placing that also on the on that little clip i actually ended up not having those on that clip with those gloves but you guys will see that to come i was just like trying to figure out where to place what i spread it out more and it was super ugly i'm glad that i didn't keep it like that it was super ugly on that, on that clip with the mittens i'm like girl get it together i told y'all i do not know how to decorate that good i'm learning i'm learning but it's a slow learn <laughs> Y'all see me struggling out here in these streets. You see me struggling. Please help me. I'm trying. I don't do this regularly. Come and help me, please, YouTube. Come and help me, please, my family. Come and help me. Come and help me, please. Okay, that did not. That did. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I am trying to do that, and I decided not to put them on there because it really was weighing it down, and it looked crazy. So I just didn't. Um... I don't know why I'm still messing with it at this point. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still messing with it at this point. Like, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what it is. I was trying to get them to spread apart without looking weird, but I figured something out for it anyway. So, y'all just seeing the ugly, the ugly process. I end up putting the pot holders on the counter and my Christmas cups next to the pot holders, which I thought was really, really cute like I'm, I'm proud of my tiny decorations they big decorations to me because i ain't have them beforehand so i'm grateful for them and so i have that plate i'm going to use for christmas cookies i've got two of them i'm going to put the other one in storage i was trying to figure out where was i going to put it but i didn't see a good place to put it so i put it in my there's a cabinet at the bottom i thought i put it in storage but i didn't so that's what I was doing and I am getting the plates. I actually thought I got Christmas bowls, y'all. I am kind of salty that I did not get the Christmas bowls that I liked that I liked when I saw in the store. So here we are. This is my setup, you guys. You see how the mittens and stuff match my carpet that I already got in there. Yes, you guys. I think it's super, super cute, but I also still changed it. So you guys will see updates probably in future videos but i changed it a little bit and it looks a lot better now but yeah y'all 
that is what my ki Christmas kitchen looked like. I'm gonna decorate my countertop. Oop, I'm ahead of myself. I decorated my countertop with my little Christmas, my big Christmas trees, my nutcrackers, the bells, and that's what the kitchen looks like, y'all. I think it's super cute. It's super cute. And yeah, y'all, I really liked it. Like I said, I added some things, so you will see that on videos. But the next thing I'm gonna do is decorate the Christmas tree, y'all. Look at me setting up my camera. I'm not gonna edit that out, okay? Not at all. So I'm gonna speed up this video and get to decorating the Christmas tree, y'all. So you guys, I am back with another video. <laughs> This one is me decorating my Christmas tree. I'm trying to stay strong with these Christmas, December videos. I don't know how often they're gonna be posted, but I wanna try my best to be on this countdown to Christmas train. As you guys saw in my previous video, if you have not, go ahead and hit that link. Hit that link, this is what I shop for. Um, with $27, I got a bulk of things for um, Christmas decor in my home or kind of Christmas decor these are some items that I got some ornaments I want to put them on my tree and try to fill this tree up because it wasn't filled up the previous years and you know it might be a thing where each year I just fill it up a little bit more so let's go Anybody can tell me what these are I will be glad glad about it because I never know what these are they come in these boxes with the ornaments
okay so like i told you guys it's not much but i just wanted to add more ornaments to make my tree look a little bit more full and so i achieved that um on this go around y'all know i like to keep my tree up all year long so i might go for year two <laughs> <laughs> next year but here's what it looks like you guys i liked it yes it could use some more stuff but it's more than it had before so i'm blessed for that part and here it is again from another angle it was light outside so i could not light it up thank y'all for tuning into this video i'll see y'all in the next one bye